I'm here with Rachel Lambert from CWT Vacations to discuss the new federally imposed travel restrictions. Thanks for joining us today. You're welcome. Thanks for having me. So for those who are unfamiliar, um, do you mind explaining what the new travel restrictions are? Yes. So there's been a couple that have come at us in the last uh, month. So the first big change was as of January 6th. Uh, the federal government declared that you had to have a negative PCR test to board your flight to come home to Canada. That was followed up with the restrictions announced last Friday that now state and on top of the PCR test with a negative result to fly home. Upon landing in Canada, you have to land in one of four airports, Vancouver, Calgary, Toronto or Montreal. You will be PCR COVID tested again, and then put in a hotel, a government selected hotel until your test results are received. If negative, you're allowed to go home and finish your 14 day quarantine. If positive, you're then escorted to a government facility to finish your 14 day quarantine. Um, uh, uh, it was said that could cost anywhere up to $2,000 per person for the hotel stay. Right. So how are you expecting these restrictions to impact uh, your business and other independent travel agencies? Um, well, since last March, my business, the industry as a whole, um, tour operators, hotels, cruise lines, airlines have been heavily impacted because of COVID and travel restrictions around the world. So the latest restrictions just feel like an, another nail in the coffin for our industry. Um, devastating. The little bit of people we had that were traveling, following the rules, being safe, um, they can no longer go or the, the looming cost of what it's gonna cost when you get home. Um, it, it was a play to deter people from traveling just with heavier restrictions for sure. Mm -hmm. How are you adapting to these restrictions or even um, from previously implemented restrictions? Um, we've been focusing quite a bit more on domestic travel. Lots of our suppliers have worked closely with us to um, make it easier to book Air Canada vacation ski packages. Um, of course, in the summer, domestic travel was a little more allowed as things got locked down tighter November, December over the holiday season. The messaging is more and more stay home, so it makes it harder for us to really do anything. Um, some ideas we're tossing around now is looking around locally and thinking about, you know, could we do a family staycation pool package type idea with a local hotel? Um, snowshoeing, ice fishing, what can we do close to home to keep to our own communities as the messaging states, but that would still, you know, generate revenue for restaurants, hotels, and ourselves. Right. Um, there was a push in the past for interprovincial travel as opposed to international or even cross-country. Is that like an option at all, or is it really just locally? Pretty frowned upon at the moment. Some provinces such as Manitoba, Atlantic Canada, and the territories have mandatory quarantines. Um, even if you go, lots of places, Ontario, Quebec, are very heavily locked down. So even interprovincial travel at the moment is not recommended. Right. And is there anything you'd like to add on the topic while we have you? Um, that COVID won't last forever. And even if vaccines are delayed, we, we know they're on the way. Um, because we haven't been able to, you know, get away to our favorite hot place or had to cancel that Explore Europe trip we had coming up. And we've really lost that ability to do what we want and see what we want. When, when we are able to travel again, it's going to be amazing and fun. Absolutely. And I'm sure everybody's excited for that. Absolutely. Well, thank you again so much for speaking with us today, Rachel. I appreciate it. You're welcome.